Hi, uh, my name is Jeff. Uh, I live here on my boat and uh, I use my uh, laptop quite a lot, but I'm not in any way any kind of computer expert. But um, the other day uh, I got a problem and I've sorted it out and solved it, and uh, so I thought I'd put this on um, because it might you might find it useful. Um, so what happened was uh, I, I was I kept getting prompted from iTunes uh, to update it and I keep putting it off and putting it off anyway I caved in updated it and then found that when I attached my iPhone 4 to the computer it then didn't recognize it uh, now that's a bit of a disaster for me because living on the boat I always um, use my iPhone uh, for tethering. I've got a contract that gives me unlimited tethering so that's how I connect to the internet. Uh, it would however uh, connect to uh, the internet via the Wi-Fi so all was not lost but um, uh, I couldn't update my phone or uh, and every time I plugged it in via the USB to get online that wouldn't work. So what I did is upload uh, and update iTunes a second time but still had the same problem so I went online via the Wi-Fi and searched Google for for the answer well there was so much complicated stuff about how to do it and I had a go but wasn't really getting anywhere so in the end I um, uh, went on to YouTube now YouTube had quite a few interesting videos about this problem so it seems to be quite a common problem but uh, there was no way that um, I was going to do most of them because um, they're just so complicated it just seemed to sort of go in my head all the stuff that, that I had to do so I came up with this idea um, and it worked so here it is all you do is go into programs and um, and then go into uh, uninstall programs so I went to that and then scrolled down the list and everything that was Apple I uninstalled uh, including iCloud because it was an Apple program but I, to be honest I don't think I needed to uninstall that it was a bit complicated getting it all back on but it's not the end of the world um, so after I d d uninstalled everything that was Apple I switched off the computer, restarted it, connected via the Wi-Fi from my phone, uh, and then downloaded iTunes again. And hey presto, it worked. So the simple ideas are quite often the best. And um, I, I, I was really chuffing myself in the end because I, I, it was, it's, as I say, it was an important thing to me uh, to have the computer working properly and working off the iPhone and everything. So then I connected to iTunes, it immediately recognised my phone so I could update my phone and uh, use, the, use the computer like I normally do. So it's a nice simple way of getting it, getting it working again. So, um, and the best thing, I didn't have to ring up my son-in-law Nick who is a computer expert and have him shout at me and tell me what an idiot I am because I saw it all out myself. So if that happens, um, give it a go. <laughs> Bye for now.